And God bless you. This meeting is being recorded. Praise God. God so excited. I forgot to start record. Hit record. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Bless him, Jesus. <laughs> God is so good, saints. Amen. The Psalms, yes, yes, Psalms 103 is. says, What bless the Lord, O my soul, oh, and, yes. and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Yes, Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and, and forget not all his benefits. Praise yes. God. Who yes. forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy disease. Glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to stop right there, praise God, because if right. I don't, amen, praise God. We're going to go a whole nother route, <laughs> praise God. But God is so, so, so good. Yes, he is. Amen. Praise yes. God. And that kind of ties into where we're going to begin. But before we begin, amen, praise God, it's with your hearts lifted to the Lord and your heads bowed. Gracious Father, we thank you, oh God, for this privilege, this opportunity, Lord God, on today, Lord God, to come together once again on this platform. And I thank you, Lord God, for each and every soul, Lord God, hallelujah, that have made their way out to today, Lord God, and even those that will join us shortly, Lord God. Pray a blessing upon each and every one, Lord God, their households, their families, oh Lord. Strengthen, oh God, meet every need, Lord God, for you are our prayer provider, Lord God, and we thank you. And yes, we praise Lord. you, Lord God. Pray, oh God, if there are any even that are sick among us, that in this time, Lord God, that we're here today, Lord God, you're yes. able to heal, you're able to deliver, you're able to set free, Lord God, and most yes, of all, God. you're able to fill with your precious Holy Ghost. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus, your precious name, we thank pray. you, Jesus. Let us all say amen. Amen. God, amen. Amen. Praise amen. The Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Wow. Praise God. We thank God for you. Amen. And amen. I'm not going to amen tarry any longer. We, let's just go to um, Philemon, uh, the sixth verse. This is where we, I believe, we left amen. off, but we hadn't finished. Amen. Praise God. But um, we want to just uh kind of uh, uh finish uh where we left off and we'll amen go for there i think we kind of got a amen a little excited and the lord just do, does what he did i mean did what he does praise god <laughs> amen i'll amen. leave it there amen. praise god amen but again he says that the communication of our faith may become effectual by the acknowledgement acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus, praise God. And again, amen, when we talk about this here, amen, this communication of that, communication of that faith, that is that sharing, amen, if you will, of, of, of that faith, amen. And it is, again, it has become, amen, praise God, uh, that which, again, speaks to, amen, helping others through, amen, that knowledge, that understanding that God has given you, Amen. Praise God. Amen. Concerning him. Amen. And, and as we mentioned on the other evening, praise the Lord. Amen. Then we ought to get excited about what God opens to us and share it with others. Amen. amen. But here, you know, it speaks here. Amen. Praise God. According to every good thing, which is in you in Christ Jesus, every good thing. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, he doesn't give us a list here praise god amen but amen when i think about this and i even thank god because i begin to think about amen even the the message on friday evening uh elder james is talking about what the goodness of god amen, amen. praise god amen. amen and so when you look at it praise god and so when we when he's talking i believe here about those amen every good thing which is in you in it's which is in you in Christ Jesus, it, it is that which proceeds from him, amen, mm -hmm. praise God, and pours itself into us or becomes reflective, amen, praise God, in us, praise yeah. the Lord. And as he was not knowing that this was a, you know, making, make, not making this connection uh, Friday evening, but as he was in uh, finishing up and, and I was just looking at some things and you know, Exodus, I want to take you there. Exodus chapter 
Everyone there? Amen. All right. Exodus chapter uh, 33. And for many of us, I think it's a familiar passage. Praise God. But just in case it's not, when we look at this, and, you know, this is, um, again, um, when Moses is, uh, again, speaking to the Lord, and this is, again, after the children of Israel have sinned at Mount Sinai, and, and um, you know, and then there's this breach, if you will, and the Lord is saying he's not going to go up with them, and, of course, Moses intercedes on their behalf, praise God, and, and the Lord then agrees to go up, praise God, and he says, verse 17, and the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. A lot of times God will do something for us, amen, praise God, because of someone else. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You know, I, 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 I actually prayed this prayer, prayer, praise God, on, on a number of occasions. Lord, if you don't do it for me, do it for my father's sake. Praise Thank God. You, amen. amen. Praise God. If I am not worthy enough, praise God, then amen. Praise God. Do it for his sake. Praise God. Amen. 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 And so what we see here, it is because Moses has found grace. Amen. Praise God. In this in, in the Lord's sight. And I know thee by name. So there is that, amen, praise God, intimate relationship between him and his God, amen, praise God, that intercedes on the behalf of this people, amen. That's not the point that I'm trying to make, praise God, but it just, you know, again, it's there. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory, praise God, all right. This is what Moses says. But what I want you to see is what verse 19 says. What the Lord says is, and he said, the Lord, that is the Lord, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee and all and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. Praise God. Look at what the Lord says here. I am going, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. And so when we think about it in this sense, so, so, what, so what he did in chapter 34 points to, amen, praise God, uh, the goodness of God. When he went before, amen, he put, set him in the cliff of a rock and he passed by him. What did he do? He showed him the goodness of God. Praise God. Amen. And so when you think about it, those good things, what, what is that, you know, as it relates to God? Now, you know, you know, I, the the quality of us or or the or, or people, you know, of, of the goodness is, is is when we speak about goodness of the person, it's the quality of being good and praise uh, pra having a praiseworthy character. All right, or that moral excellence. What does that mean? That means, amen, praise God, a, a, a mind and a heart to do the right things, not the wrong things, praise God, amen. amen. And so, but when, 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 when we talk about the goodness of God here, amen, the goodness, of, it, it, it consists of what? When, and when you look at what he says in that 34th, you know, he talks about the fact that Amen. When he says in verse chapter 34 and verse six, and the Lord passed by before him, proclaim the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands and forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. And that, we, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, upon the children's children unto the third and fourth generation, praise God. So when we talk about the goodness of God in this sense, praise God, amen, we're talking about his, what's, what, what does it consist of? His, well, his righteousness, praise God, his holiness, if you will, his justice, his kindness, his grace, his mercy and his love, praise God, amen. And so when we take that, amen, and look at the 
text that we're dealing with, amen, praise God, by the effect by, uh, that, that, that the communication of our faith may become effectual, amen, praise God, by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus, praise God, amen, those things, amen, praise the Lord, that, 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 that word, effect, that, which is having, amen, praise God, a good effect upon us, amen, praise God, because of that knowledge and because we come to understand, amen, praise God, uh, what, what it means to have that right relationship with God. I am become righteous, not because of my deeds, praise God, my goodness, but it's by the mercy of God, praise God. Amen. Amen. He has made us righteous, praise God. He sees Amen. us as that, praise God, because of his redemptive act, not because of ours, praise Amen. God. Praise by God. his mercy and his grace, amen, praise God, hallelujah, amen, praise God, that he sees us, amen, as being justified, if you will, amen, you talk of, Romans talks about justification, that is being seen right, amen, or be, be seen righteous in the sight of God, again, not a work of ours, but a work of his, praise God, amen, amen. glory to God, we're, we're only, we can only be holy because he's holy. Praise amen. God. Amen. It takes him, amen, yeah. and our obedience to him, amen, praise God, that allows us to be holy. Praise God. Amen. amen. And so, amen. so again, so when you think about all of the, the goodness of God and those things, amen, though th that, that which comprises it, that has been poured into us, amen, why wouldn't you talk about it? Why wouldn't mm -hmm. you encourage every child of God, amen, praise God, or everyone that you come into contact with about all these good things, amen, amen. which are in us, amen, through Christ Jesus, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen, praise amen. the Lord, amen. Yeah, that, that makes sense to you all, praise God. Amen, amen, amen. praise God. Amen, amen. 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 Lord. Uh, Hallelujah, thank you, praise Lord. God. I, I remember, you know, who was it, Nathaniel, when he was told, amen, praise God, amen, <laughs> Uh, I, I forget the other disciple, praise God, but when he talks about we have found, amen, essentially, amen, praise God, the one, amen, talk, speaking of Christ, praise God, amen, he's from Nazareth, and he said, can any good thing come out of Nazareth, praise God, amen, glory, and we found, amen, we know something amen. good amen. came out of Nazareth, amen. praise amen. God, amen, praise amen. the name of our God, and so, you know, when you think about it and just begin to reflect on Amen. Praise God. What that relationship, your relation, your individual relationship with God and what it means and amen, praise God and the benefits, amen, that come from having that right relationship with God. Uh -huh. You know, you have peace because if you have that right relationship with him. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. So and a miss, so here's, here's, the, here's the deal. Praise God. It is, when, it, when do you need peace? All the time. <laughs> oh, okay, all the time, but, you know, specifically in a time of trouble, in a time Amen. of need, praise God. So when he talks about, you know, talking about my peace, amen, that he leaves with us, that he gives and that he leaves with us, praise God, amen, that ought to be a hint that trouble's coming. Thank you, Lord. You know, times of difficulty are coming, but in the midst of all of that, I give you my peace, praise God. My Lord. Amen. This is why you know, our world in one sense could be turned literally upside down, but yet, amen, praise God, we can walk firm, we can stand, we can amen. go through, praise God, amen, even though our world may be turned upside up, down, but we're right side up in Jesus, praise God, amen. because our hope and our trust, amen, everything, amen, we, we rely upon him, why? Because of his goodness, Amen. Praise God. And that love, amen, that's been shed abroad in us, that's been poured in us, amen, praise God, by the Holy Ghost. Praise God. All of those things, praise God. Amen. amen. When you think about it, why is it that you're able, amen, to have a peace or a quiet or a calm about you, amen, when everybody else around you is panicking? Praise God. Amen. That comes from God. That's not us. Amen. Praise the Lord. It, it does not originate. We're not the source of it. Praise. We are the benefactor, if you will. Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at all of these things that we have 
in him, praise God. This is why in a Colossians, what you know, Paul was saying, we're complete in him. Everything that you need, praise God. Amen. You don't have to go and look into another teaching, another doctrine, praise God, another faith, another religion, if you will, praise God. Everything that you need Amen. is in Jesus. Praise Amen. God. Everything. There are those Amen. things, praise God, that we have that we don't even know that we have. Praise God. There are those things, mm -hmm. praise the name of our God, hallelujah, that God has done for us that we don't even know. He does not publish everything he does for you. Amen. Praise God. There are times, literally, perhaps, we have been in danger. We have been in trouble. Mm -hmm. But God, praise God, was there. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, remember, mm -hmm. he does not leave us. He does not forsake us, praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that's why it is so important, saints. It is so important for us to do what? Give him that, show him that gratitude. Amen. Show him. Amen. Father, we thank you. We don't know what happened all night long. We were asleep. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. But he never sleeps. And he never slumbers. Praise amen. God. Amen. amen. Praise God. So when you think about it, that's why, amen, you know, it is not, it shouldn't necessarily be unusual or strange that when we come and when we gather and we begin to praise God and just, just giving him that gratitude that we get lost in it. Because you begin to I think know. about all that he's yeah. done. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'm hearing some of you just giving a sort of a, 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 a list of what God has done for you. And there's nothing wrong with that. Amen. Praise God. Thank Amen. You. See, praising God and thanking God is not just simply saying, Lord, I thank you. But what are you thanking him for? Amen. <laughs> oh, Amen. God. Hallelujah. So much. Praise God. So much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. My mental health. I'm thanking him for that. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because we're living in such a time. Amen. Praise God. With the mental health of people uh, is under attack. Praise God. Amen. Because of all that we're dealing with, all that we're going through, but thou will keep our minds in perfect peace to those who have, you know, keep their minds rather stay, stayed on him. Praise yes. God. Isaiah amen. talks about that. Praise God. He, amen, will keep what? us in perfect peace whose mind, yes. whose amen. mind yes. is stayed on him. Praise God. Trust in him. Amen. So what are we going to do? We're going to keep our minds on him. Praise Jesus. God. Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Don't get consumed with everything that is going on. Praise God. But amen. In the midst of that, I'm not telling you to ignore it. But mm -hmm. I'm telling you, amen, praise God. Keep your mind amen. on the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So let's yes, glory to God. Thank God for Amen. Praise God. That that sixth verse, praise the Lord, of our text. And again, you, Amen. Not only do we realize these things and we, Amen, praise God, appreciate this, but the, the other thing is you certainly. Amen. Praise God. And want to be able to share it with others. Praise God. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. All right. So moving to verse six. Praise the Lord. I'm sorry, verse seven. Yeah. Paul says here, amen, in our text, for we have great joy and consolation in thy love. Speaking of Philemon here, praise God, because the bowels of the saints are refreshed, amen, by thee, brother, amen. So Paul, he expresses joy and encouragement he had because of the love of Philemon. Uh, specifically, amen, we see even in our text, praise God, uh, his love is expressed, uh, or he ex his, love is ex his love expressed itself 
amen, in, in, in hospitality. We see that in um, uh, verse 20, amen, um, where it says, yea, brother, let me have joy of thee in, in the Lord. Refresh my bowels in the Lord, uh, he says, uh, and we see not only did he meet, not only did the church meet in his house, which is what we see in verse number two, amen, praise God, but also in verse number 22, it, we see how that, amen, he apparently entertained traveling, amen, brethren as well. So verse 22, but with all, Paul says for him, but with all prepare me a lodging. For I trust that through your prayers, I shall be given unto you. And so we see, you know, even from that single statement there, that there is a, there is a hastum, ha habit or customary, amen, thing that, that Philemon did was, you know, pr provided hospitality, even for those that were traveling, traveling, amen, praise God, he would lodge them, if you will. Praise the Lord. Now, so, so when we look at this word bowels here, again, we're talking about, you know, it is, you know, an enigmatic expression. It is essentially what we would consider the seat, seat of emotions, but the heart, or if you will, the mind, praise God, mm -hmm. and how that he is able, I mean, it is stated here that because the, the, the saints' minds or hearts, if you will, will be fresh by this brother. This is the statement that Paul again, makes about him, praise God. And so again, as we see, amen, he refers to him as being a brother, which considers, amen, reveals that there was a very close relationship, again, among the believers, praise God, amen. Not something that was just casual, praise God, but it was very, very close, praise the Lord. All right, so that, that, that gets us through Amen. The amen. Praise God. Paul's thanksgiving, if you will, amen, for Philemon. And it, and it places us in, uh, in our next sort of uh, section here. And that is uh, from verse 8 to verse 21. And it's kind of, you can put it under the umbrella, the plea, if you will, for Onesimus. Okay. And verse, verses 8 through 11 are essentially. Uh, preparation, if you will, or building up to the request uh, that Paul has of Philemon, all right? And so uh, verse 8 through 11 says, wherefore, though I might be much bold in Christ to enjoin thee that which is convenient, yet for love's sake, I rather beseech thee, being such in one as Paul, the aged and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. I beseech thee for my son Onesimus, Onesimus, whom I have begotten in my, my bonds, which in time past was to thee unprofitable, but now profitable to thee and to me. Amen. So verse eight here, begins to present the main purpose of Paul's uh, letter or personal letter, if you will, to Philemon. And, it, and it is the main purpose is a request from Paul to Philemon. And so he kind of, if you will, tactfully reminds Philemon that he could be bold in Christ and command, that is, order or charge him to fulfill what he was about to request, okay? Paul was an apostle, and apparently he had won Philemon to the Lord. Uh, we see in verse 19, uh, it says that, Amen. I, Paul, have written it with mine own hand. I will repay Amen. it, albeit I do not say to thee, speaking to Philemon, how thou owest unto me, even thine own self, besides, praise God. So from that, amen, praise God, we de can determine, amen, praise God, that even uh, uh, it, it, 
it, it appears as though he is the one that won him, amen, praise God, to the Lord. So he could have exercised, and because of all of this, you know, just simply because of his apostleship, he could have exercised, if you will, great authority here, okay? Uh, also adding that Paul was requesting uh, Philemon to do whatever was fitting or proper. In other words, what he ought to do anyway, praise God. So here, Paul had both the spiritual authority and the moral right to tell Philemon what to do in this matter. Verse nine, yet for love's sake, I rather beseech thee, being such in one as Paul the aged, and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Now, this verse now says, you know, again, nevertheless, instead of commanding, here's what we see here, nevertheless, instead of commanding, Paul chose to appeal to Philemon's, appeal to him on the basis of love. Uh, he was confident and uh, of success, amen, in this approach, for he had already noted Philemon's reputation for what? For, love, for his love toward the saints in verses five and verses seven. And so here in making his request, Paul described himself as an old man and a prisoner of Jesus Christ. There are other places where it, you know, other translations that will say here that, that, you know, that you don't see the word age, but you see the word ambassador. Uh, but I, I, I essentially, I believe when he speaks of an age here, he's not necessarily meaning that he's very old, but it speaks to his, again, his, 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 many years of service, amen, praise God, to the Lord, praise God. And so he's an elder in that sense, praise God. So again, it, again, it most likely draws attention to, again, his many, many years of service. So, but in short, in this verse, Paul is appealing on the basis of two points here. One, love or affection, and the second being sympathy. So although he had every right to command, he chose to a humble approach as more appropriate and more effective. These are things that we can learn from Paul here. So we can learn that, amen, an important lesson, particularly those, amen, praise God, that consider themselves leaders. People usually respond better to an appeal rather than to an order, praise God. I'll say that again. People wow. generally or usually respond better to an appeal rather than to an order. Mm -hmm. So Amen. even though God has ordained authority and leadership in the church, but leaders are most effective when instead of just merely relying on their power and authority, they lead by example. Amen. 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 We lead by example, praise God. So, you know, and to persuade by principle and an appeal is to, you know, is, 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 you know, these are noble spiritual qualities to their followers. And, and, and we also can take this back to even the Lord. He came as, he didn't come as a king, but he came as a servant. He, amen, came to do what? To serve. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right. He, this is what he he mentioned that to his disciples as well. He did not come, amen, praise God, as a king, praise God, but he came as a servant. Uh, also in, let's go to, praise God. The book of Philippians. And a very familiar passage, praise God, verse five, two and five. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him what the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as 
a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I want to share one other passage. Praise God. Amen. St. John chapter 13. Praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 1 says, 13 and 1 says, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. Praise God. Amen. The scripture tells us here, amen, he rises up, verse 4, from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. And after he after that, he poureth water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What, do, what I do now, knowest, what I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Peter took offense to this because typically this would have been the role of a servant. Amen. Praise God. And in, in, in the disciple and master relationship, if you will, at a minimum, it would have been the disciple's duty to do this, not the master. Mm -hmm. Praise God. This is why Peter takes exception to this. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But the Lord is, this is, it becomes a teaching moment for him, if you will. And just as he says here now, what I do now knowest not, well, excuse me, what I do thou knowest not now. <laughs> But there's going to come a time when you're going to, you're going to have a clear understanding Amen. of what I'm doing. Praise God. Yeah. That can be yeah. said for us as well, saints. There are some things God does Amen. that we just don't understand. Now, Amen. I, I don't know if you, any of you had these type of experiences. I've had several. Praise God. Amen. 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 Yeah. But I understand now. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, Continuing with our text, Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. I'm going to jump down to verse number um, 12, and it says, so after, teaching moment, so after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments and was set down again, he said unto them, know ye what I have done to you. Praise mm -hmm. God. Ye call me master and Lord, and ye say well, for so I am. Praise God. If I then being your Lord and master have washed your feet, ye also you, ought to wash one another's feet. Amen. Praise Amen. God. The message he was trying to get across to him. Yes, you, you, you're perhaps showing humility to me, but you also have to show humility one to Amen. another. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. One to another. Do you not know, saints, when we don't show humility one to another, we disrespect our God? Amen. Praise, Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because he mandates this. Praise God. Amen. Think about it. Praise God. Amen. This is, he's about to depart. Just one reason why we read the first verse of this chapter. His time of departure out of this world was coming. Praise God. And it's one of those, when you think about it, you know, before he departs, amen, there are those messages. There are those things that he has to get across to them, amen, before his departure. Praise God. He knows and he understands, praise God, amen, that he is going to use them, amen, literally in 
the sense of turning this known world, this world upside down, Amen. praise God, by the message of the gospel. And so wow. in order to accomplish that, guess what? There's got to be that measure of humility among mm -hmm. themselves, praise God. There can't be any big eyes and little U's, praise God. Amen. Amen. There can't be, amen, praise God, various sets or divisions and, you know, cliques and classes, if you will, in God's church, praise God. Amen. amen. Think about it, saints. Amen. I, I, I look later, amen, praise God, when we look at these sets of events, uh, Judas had to point Jesus out. Amen. 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 As I, as I mentioned, he wasn't the one with the big gold chain around his neck with a J on it, JC on it, praise God. Thank but they you. had to point him out, praise God. Amen. God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We shouldn't be seeking, again, that attention. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. We shouldn't yeah. be amen, seeking, amen, praise God, to be exalted at our brother's and our sister's expense, praise God. So amen. true. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Don't we know, amen, the right promotion comes from God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. What God, who God sets up, huh? praise God. Oh, then he can Lord. come against you, praise. but if God placed you there, praise God. Even amen. on your job, if God placed you there, Thank oh, you, bless the name of our Lord. Thank Praise you, God. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Thank God. I, 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 can, I can spend the rest of the hour talking about that, but we don't Amen. go in for that. Praise Hallelujah. God. But if, when God does it, and that's the whole thing. Throughout your amen. life, amen, you want to know that, amen, praise God, what you're doing, where you are, where you're going, is at the leading of the Lord. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 I, I, Amen. I don't know about you, but I, I, I don't want to be caught out here on my own doing Thank you, Lord. my own thing. Praise. I'm not that good. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I don't know that much. Amen. I, I have to depend upon him. Praise Amen. God. He is my GPS, if you will. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God. He leads us. He yes. guides us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm so glad with his navigation system, amen, there's no rerouting, praise God. Amen. amen. Recalculating, if you will, praise amen. God. Amen. Every now and then your map's got to be updated, praise the Lord. And all of this because of construction and all. Don't you know God's map for us is already laid out? Amen. Amen. Praise Thank God. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And this is like I said, when you think about all of this, you know, the 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 what you know what God knows and what He does and you know when when you think about it Amen and Isaiah writes about the fact that he he knows the end from the beginning. Thank you. Oh Lord, hallelujah. we got to live this thing, saints. But He already knows. Yes. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Praise you, God. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise Lord. the Lord. And so, if we can just, my God, thank you, Lord. Just, you know, as we, you know, sort of wind down here, you know, just, just, just strive to get closer to her. Oh, God. yeah. Just, you know, somebody might say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm as close as I've ever been in my walk with him, in my life, praise God. But there's so much, we can get so much more closer. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, I, you know, I, 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 you want it such as, you know, when there is distance between you and someone else that you're talking to or having a conversation with, the volume has to go up in terms of, you know, how loud you got to talk, amen, to get the message to them. But I, literally just from a, just looking at this, you know, in terms, you know, having an Im imagery look at this, it's just sort of like, I, I, I would just simply want to be so close. I'm just whispering in his ear. Praise God. That, 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 I just want to be that close, praise God. Amen. You, Not that I got to holler across the room, praise God, but I can just whisper. Amen. It talks about John reclining upon the breast of Christ. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Lord God. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Lord. Hallelujah. That, that's that's just how you. close he was, saints. Praise God. My Lord. Amen. Yeah. 
Amen. And that closeness, that closeness that John had to this God comes out in his gospel. Praise God. Yes. Amen. When you look at what he writes there, my Lord, praise God. When you think about it, yes. amen, praise God. How that, you know, we often say that, you know, the Lord gave Moses, amen, praise God. He said in Genesis 1 and 1, it says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, praise God. And so, you know, God shows Moses, praise God, amen, praise God, the beginning of time, if you will, praise God, Thank amen. You. But then, you know, we, we kind of like to look at it this way. We see now John, if you will, standing on the shoulders of Moses, amen, which means he sees further, if you will. And Thank he you. says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, Amen. praise God. Amen. So what does John see? John does not just see the beginning, but he sees into eternity, praise Thank God. You. Amen. He is seeing further, amen, praise God, amen, than Moses saw. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's amazing what you can see when you recline upon the breast of the Lord. Praise Thank God. You, Lord. Amen. And he talks about him in 1 John 1 and 1, praise God, having handled it, praise God. Amen. All of these things in verse, amen, 1 John, I mean, excuse me, St. John chapter 1 as well, amen, and the verse 14, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, praise, and we beheld his glory. We see this parenthetical Amen. statement in the middle of four, verse 14, and we beheld his glory as of the only begotten father. Amen. Praise God. Full of grace and truth. Praise God. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. you know, I, I, I believe that when he speaks of this, praise God, he's pointing back to that event that happened on the Mount of Transfiguration. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How in it, when it was when it was Peter, James, and John, and they saw this, but coming down the mount, he told them not to talk about it at that moment. Praise God. Amen. But only after I believe his departure. Praise God. But he. Amen. But and and I believe the reason for that. Amen. Praise God. They didn't have the proper understanding of who he was at that time. Praise God. But when John is writing this. Praise the name of our Lord. He knows who Jesus is. Amen. He knows, glory to God, that he's not just from a, a man from Nazareth. He knows, amen, that he's not only the anointed of God, amen, that, that Messiah, that Christ, praise God. He knows that he is God himself. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And there are some times, amen, there are some things until God gives you that revelation, you just don't talk about. Until you know what you're talking about, praise Amen. God. And he wouldn't allow them to talk about it until they knew what they were talking about, praise God. And this is why he was able to say, praise God, again, amen, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Think about it, saints, when he talks about, amen, it sort of speaks to what he's talking about in that fourth chapter of St. John, praise God, when he talks about the fact God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, praise God. Amen. Not only, amen, having the spirit of God on the inside, but you got to have, a, that truth is a knowledge, that is revealed knowledge, that is revealed understanding about God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. That's what he's looking for. That's the true worshiper that God is looking for. Not just somebody that simply has just a casual, a surface level understanding of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But he wants to take you deeper. Amen. Amen. Saints, he wants Thank to take you, you deeper. Praise God. Amen. He wants to take you so deep till the word of God begins to take root. Praise God. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Thank God. Saints. God. Yet for love's sake, I'd rather beseech thee, being such and one as Paul, the age, and now also the prisoner, amen, praise God, of Jesus Christ, praise the Lord, amen. Again, his two, uh, 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 he appeals on the basis of love or affection, amen, and also, amen, his, his, his sympathy, 
praise God. And again, as we mentioned, amen, he chose, praise the Lord, amen, uh, uh, to use, to come to him in humility as simply a, 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 as opposed to, amen, using, amen, the authority that he certain, certainly had, praise God. Uh, verse 10, I beseech thee from, for my son, Onesimus, whom I have begotten in my bond. So here in verse 10, Paul states, amen, praise God, the subject of his appeal, if you will, praise the Lord, amen. It concerns Onesimus, who was returning from Rome to Colossae with this letter, praise God. We see that, of course, amen, uh, also in uh, Colossians uh, chapter uh, um, four, verses eight through nine, amen, uh, it said, it reads, whom I have sent unto you for, for the same purpose that he might know your estate and comfort your hearts with Ones Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother who is one of you. They shall make known unto you all things which are done here. That's the letter to the Colossians, praise God. But along with that letter, amen, this letter was sent, amen, praise God as well. Um, his name literally means useful in the Greek. Literally means useful, praise God. Paul called Onesimus, his son, amen. So during his imprisonment, amen. So during his imprisonment, Paul had begotten Onesimus spiritually. Uh, that is, he had converted him, praise God. Um, you know, in verses to come or subsequent verses, amen, Onesimus, we, we, it will show that Onesimus was a slave of Philemus who ran away from Colossae and ended up in Rome. So somehow Paul met him there, witnessed to him, and won him, amen, to the Lord. Praise God. Mm -hmm. All right, so this verse also shows us that Paul really believed and practiced the principle he enunciates in Galatians 3 and 28. In other words, he practiced what he preached, or if you will, or what he wrote in those, and also Colossians 3 and 11. Remember what he says there, Galatians 3, 28, there is neither Jew nor Greek. Amen, praise God. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for all, for ye are ye are all one in Christ. Colossians chapter, amen, praise God, three, verse 11, where there is neither Greek nor, or Jew, nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Praise God. Amen. So this class distinctions, amen, praise God, including the distinction between a slave and a free and, and, and one that is bound or one that is uh, free, amen, are abolished, if you will, in Christ. Praise God. So the average person during, the, during that day or that time would have rejected Onesimus upon learning that he was a runaway slave. All right, but Paul went so far as to consider, amen, him a member of his own family, praise God, my son, praise God, amen. So in the Greek, again, the name Onesimus does not appear until the very end of this verse, praise God. So it's kind of like he was building up, amen, to this point of, amen, of, of amen, praise God, preparing him. Amen, praise the Lord, if you will, to receive this them, uh, Anesimus, not just simply, amen, as a beloved, not as a servant or slave, if you will, but a beloved servant or child, if you will, of Paul, amen, as, as he identifies him. He says in verse 11, amen, which in time past was 
to thee unprofitable, but now I'm profitable to thee, not only to me, praise God, to thee and to me, not only to me, but also to you. So Onesimus was formerly useless or unprofitable to Philemon, but since his conversion, he was useful to both Paul and Philemon. All right, so true conversion, okay? True conversion not only changes a person's beliefs, but also changes their practical everyday life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It changes you, saints. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise God. You are truly a new creation. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Christ truly transforms a person's lifestyle and their values. Praise God. The things, there are things that you, amen, thought were valuable. Praise God. That you thought you needed. You, mm -hmm. amen, praise God. After, amen, praise God, your conversion, after, amen, the Lord filled you with his spirit. Amen. You, you, you think about even what Paul says, those things that he had accomplished, he counted as none, that he may know Christ. Praise God. Those things Thank that he know. thought was important, those things that he thought were impressive. Praise mm -hmm. God. Amen. They lost their value. Amen. Amen. He changes our, you know, our minds, praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. He really does say transforms Amen. us, praise God. Thank I'll you, uh, Lord. go to uh, a scripture that we often use, Romans chapter 12. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, verse 1, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And verse 2 is where, you know, I primarily want to get to, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Amen. Transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Praise Thank God. you, Lord. Amen. Praise Amen. Lord saints. Praise God. Amen. Be, be not conformed. Don't to this world. Don't let the world fashion you. Praise Thank God. You, Amen. Praise God. But be transformed, changed. Amen. Amen. That this the word, our word metamorphosis. Amen. Praise God is what is where, amen, is, is the same Greek word that we get this word transformed, amen, praise God, from here. In other words, it uh, it means change, praise God. And, 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 and when it talks about it here, by the renewing of your mind, praise God. How does that happen? Well, your mind is renewed. In other words, here, the word renewing here means to renovate. Renovate in the context here means to, amen, praise God, take it back, bring it back, amen, to its original state. Man mm -hmm. in his original state was what? In fellowship with God. Uh -huh. Amen. That's the state amen. that he wants to bring us back to. When we were in complete fellowship. Amen. Amen with God. We're not talking about, amen, praise God, a Sunday fellowship. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. A second Sunday communion fellowship. Amen. Praise God. A, a Tuesday night Bible study fellowship. Amen. But 24-7. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. We Only just want to be in lockstep. Amen. Praise God with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I think that's kind of where we're going. <laughs> Maybe looks like where we may be going today. Praise God. But I, I, I we just want to. Hallelujah. Thank you, it, it, you know, sometimes it seems too simple to be true. That if we, we if we would just follow him. Amen. And, and I, I know from, a, you know, from a, 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 a natural or even maybe a practical standpoint, it seems, amen, praise God, to be difficult. But thou, the word tells us that the way of the tra of a transgressor is hard praise god amen praise the lord but if we would just 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 follow him just 
Amen. Praise God. Do what he says. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let, let, me, let me try to <laughs> finish this verse. Praise God. But if we if we would just do that. And so again, the, the, the transformation. And then again, Christ truly transforms us, praise God. And and you know, I, I don't have to, you're your own witness, if you will. You know the change, amen, that he's made in your life, praise God. Mm -hmm. And if there's no change, if you're just simply doing what you were doing before, if you receive the spirit of God, then I question, or you should question, amen, praise God, whether you really have, amen, the spirit of God, or you just got happy, praise amen. God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. The transformation of Onesimus provides again, a good example for us, amen, even in his work ethic. It, it was God, it, it is God's will for people to do what? To work diligently, to serve, amen, praise God, in whatever capacities we do, whether it's even, you know, in the workforce, amen, praise God, we're, we're to do it with excellence, praise God. We are, we, we, I mean, even in that sense, we are to be some of the best employers that employees, Amen. That they are ever work. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Amen. Lord. Amen. They ought to be able to say about you, it does not matter. Amen. Who's there, who's not there. You're going mm -hmm. to do. Amen. Praise God. What you need to do. And let me also say this. Do you all not realize the spirit of God that you have in you when you come into an office or when you come into an environment, mm -hmm. amen, of your co-workers and all of this, praise God, it's noticeable. Amen. Yes, it is. It's amen. noticeable. Amen. Praise it God. Is. It's it noticeable, is. saints. Praise yeah. God. They may not be able to articulate the fact, oh, I see the power of God just mm -hmm. all around you. No, what they might say is that just there's something different. Amen. You know, when, you know, before you come in or when the days you're not here, there seems to be a tension. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> praise God. You know, Amen. It's but true. it's something about that when you come in, praise God. Amen. Amen. It just seems like, you know, things just calm down. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Honestly, saints, that's my mentality. It's just one of those things. But if God is in me, Praise God. And we know God is, his presence is everywhere. But if God is in us, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We ought to, they are, they are, they are, we ought to show some sign. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Language ought to change. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm sorry. Oops, I'm sorry. Praise God. Focus mm -hmm. not saying, look, you know, I, I would go to the barber shop and all of a sudden, you know, it, Everything said in the barbershop, praise God. But I walk in and sit down and all of a sudden stuff starts. And then people start saying, no, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Rev is in here, praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I don't have a clergy collar on or anything like that, praise God. But my point no. is, amen, there's a certain level of respect there. Amen. 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 And guess what? It also gives you an opportunity, amen, to share, praise God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise Thank the Lord. You. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, praise God. So, you know, again, since the very name of Onesimus means useful or profitable, amen, as we see in verses 10 and 11, amen, it, verse, re, re, verses 10 and 11 actually, amen, make a play on the words with the, with the name, praise God. All right, and so, as he says, again, you know, which in time past uh, was to the unprofitable. But now, right now, profitable, not, not just to me, praise God, but he's profitable, amen, unto you. God bless you, praise God. I see we're past time, but we're going to pick up, amen, praise God, at verse, you, amen, uh, number 12, amen, on, um, actually, on Tuesday, if not, praise God, uh, definitely this, this coming Sunday, I've got a procedure I have to have on Tuesday, so I may or may not, praise God, be able to uh, to do this. But uh, if not, amen, if, amen. Uh, I haven't spoken to Elder David yet, but if not, amen, praise God, He, uh, you will be in his hands, praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 And we're looking, amen, praise God, to 
Amen. Praise God. Uh, I hope you're getting something out of the lesson. But again, saints, we, we just want to, praise God, get as close to him as we possibly can. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Kind of like, you know, Elisha, Elijah, and Elisha. Praise God. And when he knew that his master was about to be taken away, mm -hmm. praise God. And and what his master said that he he had to be there he had to see him go up to get his request praise god you know somebody said he you know he stuck to him like white on rice praise god yeah. amen thank you lord you want to be blessed of the lord you got to be with god amen, amen. amen. you can't amen. serve you amen. can't be blessed and be and serve him from a distance Amen. Amen. Everything that's between you and him, you 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 want to put you want to get all that out of the way. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Everything, those of you that are on the altar, praise God. Everything that is Thank between you, you and him, you want to move all that out of the way. So <laughs> much so that by the time you're done, there's nothing between you and Thank your God. Thank you. Jesus. Thank I'm going to leave you with that picture. Praise Lord. God. And I'm going to say, Thank God you, bless Lord. you. Amen. Praise God. And come on, saints. Amen. It's time. Amen. Yes, Praise man. God. Hallelujah. For us to draw Thank nigh unto him. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. God Amen. bless you. Praise God. Thank and may God. heaven smile upon you is our prayer. Amen. Elder. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise yes, sir. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. You're welcome, daughter. Praise God. Thank you. Elder, Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. God bless you all. God, God again for the lesson today as we work. Amen. Amen.